quite a lot of weird flying devices were designed before the experts settled on the final design for planes and helicopters. But just because we now have designs that work, that doesn't mean that people have stopped dreaming up crazy winged contraptions. These are the 20 most unusual flying vehicles that will change the world. Number 20. Varia Lift Airships When I say Zeppelins, most of you will probably think about the iconic 60s rock band Led Zeppelin, or maybe the infamous Hindenburg that caught fire in the middle of its trajectory, killing 36 people and injuring many more. But in either case, the word Zeppelin is a synonym of retro, not something avant-garde and futuristic, right? Well, here I present you the plane that will change travel forever. Zeppelins could very well make a magnificent comeback with a solar-powered airship cargo mover with a cutting-edge new aluminum shell courtesy of the uk based company Varialift Airships. According to Alan Handley, the company's CEO, this vehicle will be capable of making transatlantic flights from England to the United States, consuming only 8% of the fuel of a regular airplane. This amazing invention will be powered by a pair of solar-powered engines and two conventional jet engines. The only hiccup is that, due to its solar power design and the lack of an onboard battery, this vehicle would be limited to daylight hours, and it won't be a very fast way of traveling either. Its speed will only be approximately half that of a Boeing 747. But at the end of the day, what's more important, traveling fast or saving the only planet where we can actually live? Yeah, the choice seems pretty obvious. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Let's talk about the nuclear-powered Sky Hotel. This is the plane that will change travel forever, because it's also a hotel. While only a concept at this stage, the idea is essentially a cruise ship in the sky. Mind-blowing, right? Based on an original idea by Tony Holmston and fleshed out and redeveloped by Hashem Al-Ghali, this Sky Hotel will, in theory, be capable of staying in the air for years at a time. It'll have gyms, swimming pools, cinemas, restaurants, shopping malls, and more. It's like some out of a J.G. Ballard novel. If this concept comes to fruition, would you book a room? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag OddTopic. Number 19. A Luxury Cruise Airship this is a groundbreaking vehicle, the Aether by UK-based designer Mac Byers. This vehicle is based on an airship platform, and it allows guests to experience a vast range of destinations in a much shorter time than regular planes, all the while enjoying some of the most breathtaking and paradisiac views imaginable. No, but really, you'll be flying among the clouds like a bird. How cool is that? The interior space has been designed to be as open as can be, encouraging social interaction and providing a communal gathering space for the guests to meet and appreciate the view together. But if you're looking for intimacy and a more personalized space, you also get your own bedroom with your own wardrobe, a bed, and a desk for the workaholics. There's also a cafeteria bar where people can unwind while looking at the earth from above. How does that sound? Everything about the Aether has been thoroughly thought of. Even its exterior was designed to look unlike any other airship ever produced, which removes the notion of danger. Its clean-cut and futuristic appearance communicates not only safety and precision, but also a new generation of airship that is clean, practical, and to the point. You can clearly see that the engineers were influenced by the Thunderbird 2, Star Wars, and the NASA Space Shuttle all in one. Number 18. Flyboarding have you ever heard of hydro flying? Well, it's a new sport and it looks oh so fun. The sport is done thanks to a flyboard. But how does it work exactly? Well, the flyboard is a type of hoverboard that's attached by a long hose to a jet ski, which makes it possible to drive the flyboard through the air or water to perform tricks and figures. The water is forced under pressure from the jet ski through a hose to nozzles attached to boots that support the pilot, which project pressurized water jets to carry out the thrust movement. With this arrangement and with the pilot's control over the vectorial orientation of the water jets, it can reach a height of up to 15 meters in the air or dive headfirst into the water up to two and a half meters. The flyboard was invented 
in the fall of 2012 by Frankie Zapata. The design allows the device to come out of the water and be stable in the air. This was achieved by propulsion and hand stabilization underfoot. The French National Institute of Industrial Property granted Zapata a patent for his invention. The flyboard was the subject of a lawsuit from competitor Jetly, which was dropped without prejudice in March 2013. The flyboard was first unveiled to the public at the 2012 Jet Ski World Championships in China. Since it went on sale in 2012, it has sold around 2,500 units and counting. Number 17. Hover Bike you don't have to travel to a galaxy far, far away to ride a flying motorcycle similar to the speeder in the Star Wars movies. Just go to Japan, where the startup ALA Technologies, supported by footballer Keisuke Honda, former player of AC Milan, has recently unveiled the X Turismo Limited Edition. The X Turismo Limited Edition is the world's first functional hover bike capable of hovering in the air thanks to a hybrid propulsion system consisting of an internal combustion engine and four electric motors. This incredible vertical takeoff motorcycle comes in black and red with base propellers and landing skids. With a range of between 30 and 40 minutes, the X Turismo Limited Edition has a top speed of around 100 kilometers an hour. It weighs 300 kilograms, is equipped with four electric motors, and has a load capacity of 100 kilograms. Okay, so that all sounds amazing, but what's the price? Well, according to Reuters, the machine will cost 77.7 million yen, or more than 586,000 euros. So far, the choice has been to move on land, says Daisuke Katano, CEO of ALI Technologies. The company hopes to offer a new way to get around, but there's a lot of work to do before they succeed, as hover bikes are not yet allowed to circulate even in Japanese cities due to regulatory issues. Its use will therefore be limited at this stage to the test tracks at the foot of Mount Fuji. Above all, the CEO hopes that this incredible vehicle will facilitate the operations of rescue teams in hard-to-reach places. Number 16. The Terrafugia TFX the flying car for all of us is the motto, and the product is an amazing flying car. The Terrafugia TFX calls itself the flying car for all of us because, at least in the air, it's capable of self-control. Therefore, anyone can drive it or pilot it after taking a five-hour course. Surely, you've also thought that a flying car is of little use in a traffic jam if you can't propel yourself to take off. Well, nothing of that. The TFX has the ability to take off and land vertically. In addition, due to its size, the manufacturers ensure that the car fits in any individual garage. The Terrafugia TFX uses a plug-in hybrid mechanism that drives its wheels when it goes on the asphalt, but to fly, it uses two electric rotors. The brand claims that this flying car can travel up to 804 kilometers with a full charge and full tank, although they didn't specify the speed at which it does so. The TFX is not the brand's first model. A few years ago, they launched the Transition, which was powered by a 99-horsepower Rotax-type aircraft engine capable of delivering fuel efficiency of 14.8 kilometers per liter on the road. Now, the million-dollar question. What does it cost? You can have this beauty of a vehicle for the small sum of roughly 300 grand. Number 15. Pop up next. Audi has joined forces with Ital Design and Airbus for this electric modular vehicle project, the Pop-Up Next, first introduced to the public at the Geneva Motor Show. The Pop-Up Next is a vehicle to which we can attach a system of wheels or propellers to turn it into a conventional car or a flying vehicle that looks like a giant drone. Therefore, we're facing a concept that seeks to unite horizontal mobility with vertical mobility, and that gains more strength with the union of Audi. The manufacturer belonging to the Volkswagen Group will contribute its grain of sand by providing autonomous and electric driving systems, while in the last year, Airbus has developed the anchors and improved the design. The pop-up next is a modular, electric, and autonomous vehicle. Its main piece is the cabin, which has capacity for two passengers and has a 49-inch screen that replaces the steering wheel. Control can therefore be done with the screen and controls on the armrests, although we can also interact with the vehicle through voice and facial recognition systems, as well as a visual record that analyzes where we are looking. As it's conceived, the cabin will be coupled to two modules. On the one hand, we have a wheel system with which to convert it into a relatively conventional electric car. And on the other hand, we can also attach a propeller system to it to turn it into a flying vehicle. Basically, if you see that there's going to be lots of traffic, you can always fly to your destination and never be late again. Number 14. DeLorean Aerospace DR7 
DeLorean Aerospace is not looking to build a time machine, but a flying car. The company was founded in 2012 by Paul DeLorean, the nephew of John DeLorean, founder of the eponymous company and world famous since the Back to the Future trilogy. DR-7 is the name of the vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or VTOL, that the Los Angeles area company is looking to manufacture. If the end goal for DeLorean Aerospace is to build an electric and autonomous vehicle that can accommodate two people, the company is still far from it. Still in the R&D phase, DeLorean Aerospace explains that it has manufactured two prototypes so far, the first being only 76 centimeters and the second being at one-third scale. The final DR-7 will have to measure 6 meters by 5.5 meters and will have two pairs of wings, one at the front and the other at the rear. Bulky, these large wings are foldable. The machine can thus be stored in a large garage. Above all, the shapes of the wings allows the DR-7 to continue gliding through the air if the engine ever stops suddenly, increasing the chances of a safe landing. Number 13. Lilium Jet The Lilium Jet is a 36-motor electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed and manufactured by Lilium GmbH in Wessling, Germany. Lilium was founded in 2015 by four engineers and doctoral students from the Technical University of Munich. They're backed by Business Incubation Center Bavaria, the European Space Agency ESA, a Chinese internet company, and a bank, technology fund, and private investors. The first flight of a two-seater prototype took place on April 20, 2017 at Oberpfaffenhofen Airport near Munich, Germany. The final product is scheduled for 2025. Lilium plans to develop a five-seater model to enable flight taxi service. In March 2018, a new funding round of $90 million was completed. Since May 2018, car designer Frank Stevenson has been in charge of the design. He previously worked for BMW and designed various brands of sports cars. In August 2018, Arndt Muller, previously brand marketing director and managing director of Esprit Image GmbH and member of the management team, became Lilium's vice president of marketing. It will make the air taxi development company and its products an international brand. The Lilium Jet is a kind of electric convertible that takes off vertically like a helicopter and flies like an airplane. It offers five seats and is intended for taxi use. The prototype, which flew near Munich, is a two-seater. Number 12. Alauda Airspeeder Mark III Motorsports are behind many innovations in consumer vehicles. Currently, electric vehicles are on the rise. Formula E, for example, is a major contributor to the development of electric cars. The same situation is also currently playing out in the air with electric flying cars. Airspeeder just hit a big milestone. The Airspeeder company recently managed to successfully complete its first test flight for its electric racing flying car, the Alauda Aeronautics Mark III. A remote pilot flew an unmanned version of this electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft over South Australia with the Civil Aviation Safety Authority as an official witness. The machine can reach an altitude of 500 meters and 100 kilometers an hour in 2.8 seconds. Remote pilots are safe in cockpits on the ground and race virtually with LiDAR and radar systems to avoid collisions. The design is thought out and designed to limit downtime. Indeed, if Airspeeder's vehicle can only fly for 15 minutes on a single charge, mechanics can change the battery in just 20 seconds. This test flight makes it possible to organize no less than three races without a pilot. The data from these competitions should make it possible to organize races with real drivers on board this year. Airspeeder will still have to solve many of the challenges posed by electric flight, including the very poor battery life. Still, this test and upcoming races suggest flying electric vehicle racing is rapidly becoming more feasible. At this point, it's simply a question of refining technologies. Exciting! Number 11. Smallest Airship by Valeris the Valeris company wants to create an aerial container transport shuttle based on an innovative airship taking up certain properties of an airplane. They have created a hybrid aircraft, a reduced model of the drawn shuttle, and the Guinness Book validates the performance as the smallest airship in the world. Somewhere in a North African desert, an oasis far from any road awaits its supplies. A shadow on the sand announces its arrival. In the air, an airship, the shape of an airplane wing, advances, carrying between its propellers and its landing gear a container of 30 tons and 40 feet, 12.19 meters in length, international standard. The aircraft lands like an airplane on a small makeshift runway, drops its container, and leaves in automatic flight without a pilot. Originally founded by a couple of local farmers in 2001 at the Moulins Montbuni Aerodrome, Valeris specialized until 2008 in advertising airships for clients such as Volcania, the Weather Channel, or the Tour de France. And now they've created an aircraft somewhere between a plane, an airship, and a drone. Number 10. Flying Train 
companies are full of ideas to revolutionize air transport. One of them comes from Aka Technologies, an engineering and technology consulting firm. Their project, called Link and Fly, aims to combine a train and an airplane. Imagine that you take the train to reach the airport from where, without leaving your seat, you take off for your trip. This very futuristic project consists of a modular device composed of two airplane wings under which a cabin is attached and detached, which can on the ground continue its journey on rails. With a capacity of 162 seats, that of an Airbus A320 is 150, the aircraft is designed for short and medium haul journeys, for which there is little baggage in the hold and where the unloading requires little time. The Link and Fly could thus perform nine rotations, where a classic aircraft would only perform seven. The plane train has a wingspan of 49 meters for 34 in length. It can carry up to 21 tons and has a range of 2,200 kilometers. Once detached, the cabin, composed of passengers or freight, is brought onto a railway track to continue its journey. Transfer times between the train and the plane would no longer be sources of hassle for passengers. More broadly, this type of device would also improve the fluidity of passenger traffic and speed up the process. The flow of travelers is constantly growing in airports and stations around the world, so much so that it takes airport structures by surprise which are not infinitely expandable and in which new runways cannot be created forever. Number 9. Joby Electric Flight Joby Aviation is a Californian company that's developing an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. During the last test of the machine, it also achieved a real tour de force, or rather 11 laps of a predefined circuit for a total distance of more than 248 kilometers. The total trip took 1 hour 17 minutes to complete, an average speed close to 200 kilometers an hour. But above all, and this is the most interesting fact, the device covered all of this distance on a single charge, an impressive feat which would apparently constitute an absolute record in this rather special category. From the first visual contact, its fuselage with a hybrid shape between plane and helicopter is already captivating. Its six propellers allow it to take off vertically like a helicopter, but once the desired altitude is reached, the rotors rotate to go into a horizontal position. This allows the machine to move forward like an airplane, taking advantage of the lift of the wings and the aerodynamics of its hybrid fuselage, a mode of operation that saves a lot of energy because, in terms of energy efficiency, a vertical rotor like on a helicopter is a real nightmare. It amounts to using most of its power to fight against gravity rather than using it to move forward. By rotating its rotors, an operation known as VTOL, this machine therefore gets the best of both technologies. Number 8. Astro Passenger Drone at first glance, Astro's Elroy drone looks like a fancy and futuristic helicopter, but in fact, it is a two-seater drone that allows you to soar through the air and have an incredible experience. Very fast and light at the same time, the maneuverability of this machine is unmatched. In just a few minutes, you'll be in the air. In the drone, you just have to enter your destination on the onboard computer and the machine will then take you directly where you want to go, thanks to the 4G network. Incredible but true, isn't it? So you can sit comfortably on board and enjoy a 360 degree panoramic view while you relax and let the drone do the hard work. Thanks to its small size, the Astro Elroy is perfectly designed to be stored in most garages. Able to reach a speed of 70 kilometers an hour, you can quickly get where you want without wasting time in traffic jams. Now, obviously, this product has its own limits. It can fly for only 25 minutes in autonomy, but it's a good start. We thought cars were going to fly, but we hadn't thought of drones. This is a totally innovative product. You can reserve your Elroy directly on the Astro website. However, the company remains discreet about its selling prices, and the mystery remains. Number 7. PALV Liberty PALV International BV is a Dutch company that develops vehicles halfway between a car and a gyroplane. It looks like a long two-seater motorcycle on three wheels. The first personal air and land vehicle one model was released in 2012 but was never marketed. The Liberty Pioneer model with a carbon fiber body developed in 2017 and presented at the Geneva Motor Show in 2018 was ready for marketing in 2021. It's an exclusive model which will be sold before the production model named Liberty Sport. This vehicle behaves like a car on the ground, but it has the ability to take off over a space of 160 meters. The device has a swing-out rotor, a large folding propeller on the roof of the vehicle, as well as a pusher propeller at the rear that provides movement. The function of the rotor is to keep the device in the air and is only driven by the wind. The device is approximately 4 meters long, 1.6 meters wide, and 1.6 meters high. Its empty weight is approximately 680 kilograms, and its engine power is 230 horsepower. The exterior design is developed by Chris 
Chris Klock, an industrial design graduate from the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. Number 6. The Lazarus MLV 496 the Lazarus LMV 496 is a flying motorcycle built by Lazarus Automoto, a company based in annecy le in Haute-Savoie, France. This four-wheeled machine is approved for the road with the motorcycle license and will allow you to fly once you've obtained the approval of the General Directorate of Civil Aviation with a ULM license. The LMV 496 is the first flying motorcycle capable of rolling. This magnificent feat of engineering, whose first captive flight with a pilot took place in March 2019 after an abortive attempt on January 31st, 2019, is presented by its designer as the first motorcycle in the world that can be transformed into a quadricopter. This model has two engines, an electric motor for road mode and kerosene turbines at each wheel, the four wheels being tilted horizontally for flight mode. Mini turbines supplied by JetCat, which rotate at 96,000 rotations per minute, provide the thrust necessary for takeoff. The total power delivered is around 1,300 horsepower for 2,800 newtons of thrust. Preheating the turbines takes one minute. Its length is 240 centimeters and its width is 90 centimeters. The body is made of carbon Kevlar composite. Ballistic parachutes are built into each wheel. The autonomy announced is around 100 kilometers on the road and about 10 minutes of flight, being able to reach 60 kilometers an hour and 50 meters in height. The name of the motorcycle is inspired by the turbines that equip it and also by its price, seeing as it's 496,000 euros. Number 5. Japan's Sky Drive. The SkyDrive SD05, a two-seat EV tall which has yet to be unveiled, is one step closer to completion, with the company announcing two key component suppliers. Torre Carbon Magic, based in Shiga Prefecture, will supply advanced carbon fiber reinforced plastics for the vehicle. A statement from SkyDrive explained that the most important factor in the development of the two-seater SD05 is to reduce vehicle weight. Torre Carbon Magic's design and manufacturing technologies and facilities are extremely effective in achieving this goal, and they have participated in discussions and prototypes of a light and strong carbon fiber reinforced plastic structure for a flying car. He added that in addition to being strong and light, carbon fiber also has characteristics such as electrical conductivity, heat resistance, low coefficient of thermal expansion, self-lubrication, and permeability to radiation. SkyDrive CEO Tomohiro Fukuzawa described the use of this material as an essential part of our two-seater SD05 aircraft. Separately, it was announced that Utah-based Electric Power Systems has been selected to design, develop, and manufacture the SD05 battery system. The SD05 will use the company's EPIC battery system, which includes battery modules and a battery management system. When the EPIC battery system was unveiled last year, Electric Power Systems CEO Nathan Millicamp said it represented a major breakthrough in the advancement of electric propulsion for airborne applications. Number 4. VRCO Neo X Craft. Neo X Craft is a vehicle redesigned electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle capable of vectored thrust high speed. This innovative and amazing vehicle can fly, drive on land, and even take off on water. There's virtually nothing this vehicle can't do. This groundbreaking project started back in 2016 with operation testing slated for 2019 and certification in 2020. The vehicle's feasibility and power optimization studies were undertaken by the University of Derby's Institute for Innovation in Sustainable Engineering in 2017. The result is a short lift body fuselage and cockpit with electric ducted propellers fore and aft on each side. The vertical lift to horizontal flight is achieved by the ducts and propellers that rotate. This machine can cruise at 338 kilometers per hour with at least 60 minutes of flight time with a flying range of 120 kilometers and is slated to have a 25 minute recharging period, perfect for going to and back from work every day. To make things even more perfect, the Neo X Craft has a maximum takeoff weight of 450 kilograms, including a 180 kilogram payload of two passengers. Oh, and did I mention this amazing vehicle can fly autonomously? Yeah. Number 3. Aeromobile 4.0 this concept doesn't come from the United States or China, but from Slovakia. The innovative flying car was imagined in the 90s on site for its V1. Over the years, the prototype has evolved. The V3, which made its first flight in 2014, is now the iconic prototype of an airplane convertible into a car, or vice versa. 
However, this is not a one-of-a-kind project, since the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, has counted around 20 inventors working on a flying car. There are also large groups such as Uber or Airbus. On the autonomy side, Aeromobile announces that its vehicle will be able to travel distances of up to 800 kilometers. But be careful, though. Given the current legislation, this type of vehicle would not be allowed to fly in town. Connections via airports should therefore also be provided. It is a hybrid vehicle, so half petrol, half electric. Number 2. Kitty Hawk Cora Whisk is an American joint venture created in 2019 by aircraft manufacturers Boeing and Kitty Hawk Corp. It is based in Mountain View in the heart of Silicon Valley. Whisk is developing a two-seat vertical takeoff and landing electric self-driving air taxi called Cora. This two-seater model combines 12 rotors for a vertical takeoff and landing with wings and a tail rotor for a traditional horizontal flight. Its development began in 2010 with the ZP2 prototype from Z Aero, a startup headed by Elon Crew and financed by Larry. Page, the co-founder of Google. In 2017, Z-Aero becomes Kitty Hawk. It is led by Sebastian Thrun, Google's self-driving car project manager. Developing a fully autonomous passenger-carrying vehicle is a bold gamble. Kitty Hawk received financial assistance in 2017 from the Defense Innovation Unit Experimental, a Pentagon organization designed to help the U.S. military use emerging technologies more quickly. In March 2018, Larry Page and the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, signed an agreement facilitating real-life testing leading to the commercial development of the device. With the entry into the capital of Boeing Next in 2019, the project is now piloted by the WISC joint venture. The same year, WISC signed an agreement with the New Zealand government to test a commercial unmanned passenger service. In 2020, WISC enters into an agreement with NASA to prepare the harmonization of American airspace standards and ensure an operational level of safety focused on vehicle design and automation. Number 1. Solar-Powered Plane the innovation of the day is a solar plane. The satellite that monitors the ocean's tides was recently launched. Everything went well. The pitcher returned to base as planned, but it cost a billion euros, so it's outrageously expensive, especially when there's a failure, which happens more often than you might think. To reduce costs, consideration is being given to using solar-powered planes instead. The idea is simple. Make them fly indefinitely in the stratosphere, that is, above the clouds and above the bad weather. This would divide the cost of sending satellites into space by 100. But wait a minute, a solar plane that flies forever? Even at night when there's no sun? Yes. It's still an unmanned aircraft, but completely autonomous, with batteries that charge all day to run the motors at night. This allows it to fly for months, go anywhere, or circle for years over a particular area. These are called HAPS, High Altitude Pseudo Satellites, and the first aircrafts are already starting to fly today. And because all the aeronautical giants are now in the race, Boeing with the Odysseus, BAE with the Fast 35, and above all, Airbus with its Zephyr 8, there are already several missions planned. There's little chance that one day we will fly in a solar plane like the Solar Impulse. On the other hand, we will certainly see the numbers increase of 100% solar-powered satellite planes. As you can see, the future is not a distant dream anymore. It's coming, if not already here. What about you? Which one of these amazing vehicles would you love to try first? And why do you think it'll change the world? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.